It's Stephanie on uh, Monday, November 16th, 2020. Just wanted to get on and do our live this morning or this afternoon. Um, for Mr. Bickle, he is out of town and will be back with us shortly. But I did want to, if I can do it here, read you a letter that we are sending out with some updates with our latest uh, requirements, uh, COVID precautions and such. And we got here today and there were some people calling in about church photos this week and they wouldn't be able to make their appointment and a lot of people are staying home and high schools are closed and all that good stuff. Um, but we do not want anyone to panic or fear. We knew that there was going to be a little bit of um, uh, the uh, second wave, as they call it. And um, Pastor and I were just sharing our the words that we love is the uptick. So we have an uptick in reported cases um, in the hospitals. But again, there's more testing. So to free everyone from from a little bit of worry, I'll read you the note we're sending out from church today, uh, dated Monday, November 16th. I also have just posted it on Facebook and it will be on our webpage and we'll send out an e email blast for those of you that we have email addresses for. Um, just to let all of you know that church, um, actually, you know what, I'll read the whole letter because it's just easier and um, so bear with me. Okay, Monday, November 16th, 2020, dear St. Martin family, greetings in Jesus forever love and ever present peace. Here are some important church updates for you and your loved ones during these remaining weeks of November 2020. Number one, church portraits this week have been canceled. Rescheduled dates are Thursday, February 18th through Saturday, February 20th in 2021. New scheduling options will be available on or before Sunday, January 3rd, 2021. So we have our directory coming it's just a little bit delayed, okay? Number two, Faith Weavers for this Wednesday, November 18th, their last class of the fall session has been canceled. So this ends our fall session. Number three, our children's Christmas program is canceled this year and we do look forward to December 2021. That's really sad for me and all the children, but uh, we want to keep everyone safe and I'll continue on with the letter here. Uh, number four, this is important for those of you, hi Sally, those of you who have been coming to church um, on site um, for the next few weeks here, I'll list the dates, our on site in person worship services have been suspended for a short term period, okay? Um, so, worship with us online only this Wednesday, November 18th at 5. Remember, we do our onlines a little bit earlier, okay? And then this Sunday, November 22nd at 9 a.m., just one service, not in person, online only. So, don't come to church. We're going to lock you out. Okay, so also, and this is kind of sad, but this is a, another good precaution Hi, Natalie, for keeping people safe on Thanksgiving. And so for our Thanksgiving Eve worship service, it will also be online only at 5 p.m. So log on the night before Thanksgiving and we'll give thanks together. Um, I'm so thankful for this technology that we can meet every day and give you updates like this and also that we can still worship together. So there will be a few, a very small group of us running the live stream and singing and of course, you know, having uh, worship being led here at the church, but we're locking you out. So don't come because the doors will be locked. Okay. I'm not, ma I'm trying not to make light of this. I just want everyone to know what we're doing when we're doing it. Okay. So Thanksgiving Eve worship is online only at five o'clock and anyone needing to get online, like if you're online right now watching this, of course, you know how to get on to our live stream worship services on Facebook and YouTube, but maybe you could uh, phone a friend and let them know kind of how to do that. 
uh, provided they have a smartphone or even a computer, they can get on and go to our church website, www.stmartinbirchrun.org, and they can click all those links on the front page that I think most of you click either on our website or on Facebook for um, accessing the live services um, that we're going to be doing. Wednesday Adult Bible Study is canceled for the next two weeks on November 18th and November 25th. And also, this is a good one. This is the last reminder here I have for you. For So that's most of November. But for Sunday, November 29th, the fifth Sunday in November, but also the first Sunday in Advent already as we prepare for Christmas, um, on that date right now, we have planned, as of this recording and the date of this letter, Monday, November 16th, we do have in-person and online services planned, okay? We don't want anyone to feel they have to come in, uh, so it's still online as normal, but we did want to um, take a little break and just so everyone could feel safe. And we were just, the amount of phone calls we were getting just about our church directory made us realize we need to take a small short-term break. So um, so basically we'll be back on November 29th. So that's good. Natalie wrote good. And um, I saw someone on here with the crying emoji when I talked about the children's message, children's Christmas service. I know. Um, I'm sad, very sad about that. Okay, so determinations will be made on how to proceed into, um, so, no, we are not still doing church pictures. Yeah, you missed that. I think it says St. Martin posted that, so I'm guessing it's either Heather or Diana or I can't remember who else, maybe Michelle. Someone's asking me, but they look like they're the church asking. So no, we have a letter going out today. Church pictures are Thursday, February 18th through Saturday, February 20th. So we do already have a rescheduled date. So that keeps everybody safe and free from worry and one less thing to, one less in-person thing today to, oh, hi, Heather. <laughs> I don't know how to change it either. It looks like you're St. Martin, but that's okay. You're fine. So further communications will be made as pastor and the leadership here at the church make decisions going into December. But as far as I can tell, and as far as we are planning, we just proceed ahead with caution as we have been doing with social distancing and masks. And one nice thing is our sanctuary is very large, so you can be separated beyond the six feet even. You can go sit up in the balcony if you want. Um, so that's an, always an option as well. So we do have a nice big sanctuary to spread out. So um, plan to be here Sunday, November 29th, unless you hear otherwise from us. But as of right now, that's our date to be back in session um, in person. The last part of this note, hi, Ray. Good to see you yesterday um, and here online today. I think I see Dawn. I see a cat profile pic. And I think I see Arlene, or is it Colleen? I can't tell. Um, I got a small window here. Um, the best part of this letter is, of course, God's word. We pray that you remain safe, happy, and healthy amidst the recurrent uncertainties of this life. Let us all remember Jesus Christ, our Savior and our friend, who brings us comfort, hope, and lasting peace. Hi, Diana. Good to see you. Jesus brings us comfort, hope, and lasting peace. And we move forward always and ever, every day, um, joyfully here at St. Martin with safety and precautions ever in place and knowing that we are in the care of our Heavenly Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. May God's Holy Spirit daily increase your faith in His Holy Word, which promises that He, God our Heavenly Father, will always keep us in his care. And so you may rest in this comfort. God will never leave or forsake you. He will never leave you or forsake you. And the best part of this whole letter that some of you will be getting in your email, if you want to receive an email and we don't have your address, leave it uh, with me or call the church office, 624-9204. Um, and yes, Arlene, I will get with you on that. There will also be to answer that question for you. I just, it's not set up yet, but yes, 
Um, not sure when you're coming back, but we can, you can call me here at church and we can figure that out. So no worries there. We're going to try to get all of our snowbirds in our church directory too that, that can't make the February date. But for right now, we just have the February date set up uh, for the general population. And so Jesus reminds us, this is, this is the best part here. So I hope you're still tuned in. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 27. In Christ's love always, St. Martin staff, and very important note at the bottom of this letter is our phone number, which most of you know uh, or have on speed dial or haven't memorized. It's 989-624-9204. That's our church office phone number. And at the bottom, we put a little note here that says, as always, call in your prayer requests or your needs for pastoral care. We are here for you and your family. And so that's the big old letter. And it looks a little bit like this. I do not believe we're mailing it out, but um, we will have it on the website and the Facebook and um, some calls are being made for people we don't have emails for um, about your church pictures and things like that. So some of you will be receiving a phone call. Okay, and um, so I, I have my Bible verse, the John 14, 27, and this is not your normal devotion because I'm just on with this update and this bulletin, but I do have a song um, and we will say the Lord's Prayer together. So if any of you have any, um, oh, Natalie, that's your confirmation verse. That's a good one. If any of you have any, um, oh, thanks, Colleen. Thank you for all you do here. Um, we, if you have any prayer requests, put them online right now. Um, I know it's it's just a weird thing because when you have COVID or you're in quarantine for COVID, some people are very confidential about that. And so they don't want anyone to know or they want prayer and they want everyone to know. So what we do is we just play, pray a blanket prayer over everyone who is waiting on COVID test results or who is being tested or who is feeling ill or who does have COVID. Um, you know, there's a lot of privacy laws there in the medical community and things like that. So it's like, we want to, you know, um, reach out for pe reach out to people. But again, we kind of do a blanket prayer because we don't know who has what and who is just quarantining because they were with someone who had it confusing times. But again, we have a savior who is all knowing and ever present and all loving. And so the song I picked, which I know I've done before, but it's such a good one. Um, so list your prayer requests there. I'm trying to watch those come up if you have any. But again, that COVID, that blanket prayer we're doing, I, you don't have to name anybody. You don't have to list anything. You don't have to name yourself. We're going to just pray for everybody in the whole world that has COVID or that's afraid they'll get COVID or that's quarantining for COVID or who's tested positive for COVID. So kind of cover our bases there. And... Um, so it's when peace, we, I, I think I'm going to do two, and if you have the time, stay with us. I might just do a verse of the one because uh, you don't all have the lyrics, but it's Be Still My Soul, and uh, it's a good one for this time frame. If that's loud enough or not, we'll see. It goes like this. Be still my soul. favorite verse of that one 
And then the next one is When Peace Like a River. So another one in the hope and comfort section of our church hymnal. And then we'll say, uh, we'll do a prayer and we'll let you be on your way. Um, but had a lot of information to get out to you on that live. Pastor asked me to jump on and it's jumping on for five minutes is like kind of a huge thing. <laughs> so it's not really, but when you're me, it is because you want to be prepared. But so we're going to do uh, When Peace Like a River or also known as It Is Well with My Soul. When peace like a you know so you can sing with me it is And so we pray for those of us who are here with us at church and here with us online. And oh yes, Natalie, that's a very important prayer request for you and for, for so many right now. Um, we know Natalie lost her mom a few months ago, I think two months ago, right? I, a little longer than that. And so prayers for Natalie in the struggle of going through the upcoming holidays without mom. That's a big one. Yeah, for sure. So let's go ahead and pray for Natalie and for all those who are are suffering without their loved ones. Uh, that's very challenging. And our blanket prayer for COVID, <laughs> not for COVID, against COVID, but for everybody who is in need or, um, yeah, in need of anything during this time of COVID. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for giving us another day to praise and glorify you. And we just... I thank you, Lord, for this online community of friends uh, and St. Martin family who we can uh, pray with together right now, Lord. We just ask your blessing on all those who are sick and suffering from COVID, who are quarantining during COVID, who are afraid of COVID, um, who have anxiety because of COVID or depression, and who are without their friends and family because of COVID. We ask that you bless us during these holidays as we are struggling with uh, losing family members and having lost family members. Um, Lord, just bring us comfort and bring us your peace. And um, we know you're always with us. You will never leave us or forsake us. We just ask that in these times, these strange and unusual times, you are always with us to comfort and care for us. We ask that you give us the Holy Spirit in our hearts to increase that faith and that uh, knowledge that you are always here, Lord, and that you comfort and save us and protect us. We just ask for uh, your blessing and your healing on all, Lord, who suffer in any way, shape, or form. Um, and uh, we won't name any names because we have such a long list now. And so we want to include everyone, Lord, with this um, blanket prayer um, that you cover um, everyone who needs your care and your love this this holiday season and beyond. And we just ask that you uh, teach us to trust in you and to read your word for strength and your promises and teach us, Lord, to uh, reach out to others who are struggling um, even more deeply sometimes than we are and so that we can bring that hope of Jesus into their lives. In your name we pray, Heavenly Father, we pray the prayer that uh, your son Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Um, we're going to let you go and get on with your day. And please share this post. If you 
um, know how to do that or tag someone in the comments, you can type their name if you're their Facebook friend um, and they go to our church and maybe um, aren't on right now. Um, I'll try to share it to the page because it kind of runs through the whole letter. Um, and again, I don't, I don't know that we're mailing the letter. The letter may just be online and the information might just be online. So thanks everybody. Have a blessed day. We love you all. Stay safe. Of course, our favorite, our favorite phrase there, stay safe in the Lord. How's that? And we love you and uh, let us know how we can help you or what we can do for you during these times. Take care. God bless. Bye.